pa, pa. I will read the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. It says, but you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Hallelujah. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. God has given us power and power is dynamic ability to cause changes, to do things. God has given us power. He has given us everything we require for life and godliness. The Bible let us know that he has given us the power of atoning to use his name. A power of atoning is when you stand in like that person because that power has been conferred on you to for example, operate someone's account on the person's behalf, that power to decide for a person. So that power of atone to step in and play a role. You can cast out devils in that power of atone given to you. You can pray for the sick and they will be healed in that power of atoning, not in your own power. He has given us power. The, 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 the Bible lets us know that Apostle Paul says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, not in his own power, but in God's power. And many miracles that the Lord wrought through the hands of Apostle Paul. He said, it's not by our own power. This was done by the power of God conferred on us. So we have that power, that dynamic ability, that special ability. So walk in that power. Don't see yourself as small. You can do what God says you can do. Have a glorious day. God bless you.